we present Go With The Flow, a method for controlling motion in video diffusion models that uses warped noise. Let's illustrate our method with an example. Let's say we want to make the cat walk down the tree. First, select the thing we want to move, which is the cat, and then define a trajectory, which in this case is translated downwards and rotates counterclockwise. From that trajectory, the final output of our model is the cat walking down the tree. But let's break it down into steps. The first thing that happens behind the scene is that a crude animation is created where the cat is cut out and dragged across the screen. From that crude animation, we generate warped noise. Don't worry exactly what this is, we'll talk about it more in a minute, but just notice how the noise moves with the cat. Given this warped noise as an initialization for the diffusion process, along with the first frame, our fine-tuned image-to-video diffusion model generates the outputs you see here. And we can control the direction of the cat uh, by dragging it from left to right or from top to bottom to get two different animations. So a little bit more on warped noise. Warped noise is just Gaussian noise that's temporally correlated across time. So you can see people dancing on the right, but as soon as I pause the video, they disappear because every single individual frame is totally Gaussian. But when you watch it as an animation, you'll see movement. It's actually not trivial to do this. If you use a naive way to warp noise from a first frame, you'll get pretty bad looking results, which aren't Gaussian at all and will mess up diffusion models. Recently, a method for creating this warped noise and its applications came out called How I Warped Your Noise. But the problem is that it's not very fast. Ours is much faster, only taking about two milliseconds per frame. This warped noise can be used for image diffusion to create temporally stable results. So, for example, we have a super resolution model that is being initialized with random noise in the middle. So every frame receives entirely different noise. And the output is extremely flickery from frame to frame because they're all calculated independently. On the right, we use warped noise to initialize the diffusion process. And we can see much more temporally results as he moves his head from left to right. And so following that paper, we wonder, could this be used for video diffusion too? And well, short answer, because this paper exists, is yes. We take a bunch of video frames and we extract their optical flows. From their optical flows, we get warped noises. And we take all of these warped noises and feed it into a video diffusion model to get our final output. So here's the input video. Here's some optical flow. And here's some warped noise. If we just run it through a video diffusion model without training it, the results don't look very good. Um, but it does follow the flow. After fine tuning, we can get much better results that look much nicer. When we fine tune our video diffusion model using this warped noise instead of regular noise, it can become controlled from that warped initialization. It can be controlled from that warped noise initialization. Our method is generalizable to multiple architectures. So for example, here's animate def. Thank you for watching. Please scroll down to see tons of examples on this website and different use cases.